Parker. Hello, everybody out there on Facebook Live. We are live in studio here at Press Play for another episode of Zero Dark Nerdy, the world's most notorious pop culture podcast. This is your host, Brian, a.k.a. El Nino. Today, I'm joined with DJ Snow. Wade from Brothers Pearl. Uh, formerly known as uh, Rick. No, I'm just <laughs> yeah. Flip now, side now the house. symbol. Yeah. <laughs> So I got these beautiful young gentlemen here today to uh, talk about, you know, stuff coming up in 2020, what happened on 2019. They have a show coming out uh, next month at Blind Tiger we're going to promote. And just go from there, give a little bit of backstory. Uh, you know, we, we do appreciate, of course, all our fans here in North Carolina and the U.S. But it's the first time that I'm sure a lot of our international fans have heard of these uh, talented young fellas. So, uh, Rick, if you kind of want to start it off, we'll just go from there. Oh, uh, yeah. So uh, I guess backstory kind of where we all know each other. You know, let me get, let me, let me, uh, me and Snow uh, started rocking together like when I first got into the business. He was, well, and Brian. Like, so these oh, two, yeah. both these cats were like the first people I kind of started working with. And then Wade uh, jumped in the mix. Uh, uh, you know, I was resident DJ for they were they owned a club in Kernersville. So, but yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> she ain't talk about too many of those stories. Too many nights, too many. Stories. Yeah. That'll be for um, the Pornhub episode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, he's his like music love is way beyond the booked up anyway, and mm -hmm. he'd been playing way before that, and uh, now they've got Brothers Pearl, which is. And it speaks for itself. Yeah, that, doing real well around the triad. Killing it. Got out of the it. promotion side on, you know, other people and started doing promotion side on my own stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like so, all the time devoted to Bucked Up, you know, when, you know, they decided to go in a different direction, mm -hmm. you know, he put that back into music and now they, it was like just skyrocket from there. So Nice. nice. Yeah. So how long has Brothers Pearl been around? Like, give us a little bit of the backstory. <laughs> Well, shortly, well, actually, while I, while we were having bucked up, you know, my brother were the uh, owners over there, but um, I, I came across my uh, friend Robert Smith, which everybody knows as Bobby or Bobby Goodtime, whichever one you call him. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, one of his one of his last shows with his band um, was at, actually at my venue, and uh, we, we just kind of clicked and made friends from there and whatnot. But, um, so we kind of started the project under a name called Bobby and the Good Times while, I, while we were still having bucked up going and whatever and whatnot. And um, shortly after we sold bucked up, I went straight into going and doing the music side of things. So it was just kind of a flip switch from, you know, the club scene to like going and actually being on the other other side of uh, every, every, everything. Like, you know, instead of actually handing out all the money, you actually you <laughs> pull it out in, and right? get some of it. Put uh, it in your pockets. <laughs> but no, yeah, so I started doing it while it was still open. We, but we were only playing like four or five shows in there. But as soon as, as soon as I got out of one, you know, I jumped full time into the, into the other thing. So that was probably, I guess it's been six or seven years now. That's crazy. Dude. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy to think like, when he puts that number into perspective. That's when that's when I <laughs> yeah. That, yeah as he that's was how long you've been as out he of, was branching yeah. in. I, I was like, all right, it's time for me to, you know, I'm, which uh, trust me, I'm things, like, things you miss and, 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 and I, the things you really right. No, miss. exactly. Like, <laughs> I got a beautiful wife and two kids at home, yeah. and that that was my direction. So yeah. you know, this has been like no no lie. Like this was just a this whole accumulation of this show that we've kind of just took off way past what we thought was going to happen. Sure. was kind of really a joke in a way at first because me and him were talking and then me and him were talking. We actually were starting to work out at the gym together every day and okay. we were just tossing around ideas. And I was like, you know, <clears throat> I kind of would like to do a show Yeah. to just like a, like a kind of like a, Reunion like show to get master. everybody together. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, yeah. Right. Like, it's more of like, like like a nostalgic kind of thing, you right? Know? Because right. you know all the people that used to associate with all those clubs and places that, that you worked and you worked and you know 10, yeah. 10 15 it's years. This, ago it's more of like a service industry style party for yeah. Yeah. for everybody that's been in the industry with us. Like, I mean, me and you have worked with in uh, Greensboro for every. I mean, you yeah. you guys. Yeah. So, like, if you really look at like the demographic of who's involved in wanting to be at the show is like it's all a lot ton of service industry yeah. people over the years just wanting to get together because i mean most people fall out of contact 
you know, it like just happens. Life happens. It's right, like you said, right. family and babies. I actually ran, I was in Winston the other day for work and ran into uh, Regina. Yeah, the first oh, thing yeah, she yeah, brought yeah, up yeah. was the yeah, show. Yeah, she yeah. was like, "Are you going to the show?" I'm like, "Of course, yeah. I'm going to the show." Yeah. <laughs> it's like everybody that used to come out on the weekends and right. the service industry. It's just like you know, they all went off in life, and people got married, people had kids. Right. Right. So, right. I, I guess it's in this, in, yeah. in all truthfulness, it's a good excuse for everybody to get out and <laughs> yeah. show. show a for lot of babysitters going to for a lack of better. Yeah, yeah. It, it'll be a wild night. I'll just leave it at that. I'm sure for a lot of people. But oh yeah, yeah. I mean, that was the. So it really was just kind of a. Me and him got to talking, and he was like, "I was like, well, I, I kind of want to do this, but I didn't say like, hey, I want to do it now." And he was like, "Well, I mean, <laughs> let's go." He's like, just kind of "I've little. got the avenue. Yeah. I've got, I, you know." So I was like, "Well, just see what we can. If you know, let's we'll talk it out." And Snow still he stayed in it the, the entire time. And yeah, yeah. Every weekend, yeah. So, and I've still been in it. So, the, but the fun part is, is collectively getting three people together, and, and even members of my band that were there. Yeah, just in in a nostalgic event that, that everybody can associate with. Somebody at the day. door. Recording <laughs> 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 from the nail salon. Hey, hey. Uh, new sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> These nails. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so that's that. I mean, really, that's been the, the coolest thing with it. I mean, and. Um, you know, I've stayed in contact with with him, and and shout out to Landon and his brother for a long. Yeah, time. Yeah, I mean, they're yeah. like family to us, and so you know, I've stayed in contact with him. They hadn't really been in contact, but right. me and him have always stayed in contact. Well, now, like collectively, which I could not let you go through the snap or the dang group text message in oh, here, yeah. all this <laughs> trash talking in it. But so it, it really like like you know, no different than me and you, mm-hmm. like. I, these are people that I've kept in my life over the years that have lasted as a friendship through yeah. all this time. Yeah. So then it was like, all right, well, let's do something with it. Like, yeah. I'm been on music so long, but he's so versed in it. And oh, yeah. Everything I'm like, all right, he's well. when he's not vacationing all over the world. <laughs> right. Every time I see you on Facebook, yeah, yeah. I'm like, where the fuck is the like Carmen San Diego over here? Yeah, I mean, where's snow? Over there, over there trialing food and different things. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Straight <laughs> food. Straight food. Nah, so there. yeah. Yeah, so that's, I mean, that's pretty much it now, you know, now this has turned into this thing. So this has been, now we're at the point with it where we haven't even done the damn show yet. Like, right. no lie, we haven't touched the show. Yeah. Um, but I guess all the buzz because of the community and everybody that's been kind of behind of it. Buzz. So now we've had, what, five, four or five different people. We were just out Friday for Danielle's birthday. Yeah. And nobody's even seen us play. Yeah. I haven't, t- you know, t- seen me in a club for anything, but everybody's like, oh, Yo, let's go book this show over here. Yeah, yeah. The people are like, "Hey, let's. You want to book that next year?" I'm like, "Well, damn, no, I want to make sure it's good." <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even done it yet. Turn yeah. the pressure on up in here. Oh, yeah. I was talking to Flathers at, over at Stumbles. Shout out to Flathers and Stumbles. You know, he's trying. Hey, to yeah, the best that. food. Oh yeah, for you guys we just there. we literally yeah, just we left just there. From there. Oh and, my god, uh, no, no lie, that. Well, yeah, and that's those dang egg rolls are good too. Oh, egg rolls are bad. That, that spicy, that spicy stuff you're dipping in, it had me about lit up. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, big shout out, big yeah. shout out, food. Big Amazing. shout out to those guys, but he was, you know, he's thinking about doing like a street party, and I was like, "Well, I'm reach out to Rick Snow." I mean, we're, I'm trying to book you in advance already yeah. without even the first show. Yeah, we have some killer ideas, and we we, we like going. For, we're, we definitely, it's not something that we we all in our agreements in the fact that. We don't want this to be like be like a monthly thing. We want it right. to be a, a, right. a couple times a year, sure. um, because the whole point of the deal was more of like a passion. It wasn't about making money. It was about yeah. no. I was actually just about getting, getting back with like some of the things you used to do years ago. You know, when you yeah. just have a jam session with people, like, and you just that's really what we were like. All right, let's just make some music. Yeah, and get the creative side of things going again. Because for me, I've been out of it so long, like. I haven't touched anything in the industry right. at all. You know? right. So just getting back into it, I'm like, oh, yeah. But it's a whole different level for me. So, yeah. like, my life's changed so much in five years. Right. Becoming a dad, like, my whole aspect on how I even look at this is yeah. different than it was before. Right. But in a better way, I think. You know yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Me, so. yeah. Yeah. And really, I mean, if they, if these two got, if both these guys weren't pushing me, I wouldn't even, I would have just because you kind of lose that confidence when you sure, get out of her, sure. like, especially the way the music industry changes. So oh, gosh. And just you know, me and him talking, Matt, like, he, <laughs> he doesn't like to brag on himself, but, like, when I get together with him on music, because his production is, like, incredible. Yeah. And so 
I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of name drop. He just dropped his – he just dropped, what, Spotify and iTunes and everything. His, yeah, 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 yeah. His yeah, first yeah. Uh, single. And uh, so I was listening to it, and I'm like, God, man, like I miss the – just the, the the sounds, like, yeah. rolling through my head and everything like that. So, yes. yeah, it's – Video work's been... come a long way since. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So why don't you talk about that a little bit, Smell, like what you got going on and what you've been up to and, like, of course, your residencies that you still got. As far uh, as DJ yeah, I DJ in uh, Wake Forest. Uh, no. <laughs> I used to, but I uh, know I DJ at last resort on Thursday nights, which is catered mostly to Wake Forest kids. And uh, it's definitely uh, college driven. It's a lot of new type of music, like a lot of electronic music. Stuff okay. like that. Um, and then Friday nights and Saturday nights, it's kind of just a flip flop between Burke Street and uh, Arizona Pete's in okay. Greensboro, or pretty much just whoever wants to book me wherever. You know what I mean? Nice. Yeah, I the river every now and then. The, the main focus for him is. You know, the, the hardest thing, if you really look at the industry and the change is mm-hmm. there's clubs are like, you know, they're becoming like extinct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this Great. area, in this like, area, yeah. like the, the nightlife industry here is so weird. Yeah, and that, yeah. Was, that was the other thing, because a lot of venues back in the day, they worked with a lot of live bands, always worked with DJs. And, you know, they do their set and then right. Right shortly after it would be, it'd be the DJ dance, dance party and whatever. Not, you don't see that as much anymore. It's either, right. you know, A or B. And well, like for you, together. like prime, prime, like they had to transition their whole show because of it. So like where, yeah. Cause then you guys just do an acoustic set over at, uh, breathe, breathe. Yeah, and breathe. Yeah. 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 And we try to like from, from doing bucked up from so many years, I tried to, I tried to put the concept of, of keeping the party going the entire time. You know, we don't have a DJ with us anymore, but you know, it's just like, I get mixes from snow. I get mixes from, from flip side and I, and I, and I correlate those into my set breaks and whatever, whatnot. So nice, I, I try nice. to keep that same vibe and, and it, it works. Yeah, it, that's, it worked back then and, awesome. and it still does now. I think that I think the 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 biggest change is is like it, not not knocking the dive bar scene, but that's sure. that's where the industry is gone. Yeah. So like even it changes for DJs, especially. I mean, you know, because you still oh, yeah. touch it, and it's like where you you the thing used to be like when you were a DJ, you wanted to play a big venue. Right. Now, like you know, the nostalgia of I that is gone. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Like me and him had this discussion, like. He gets so much more enjoyment out of playing like Burke Street right. or something because it's open format. He gets right. to do what he wants to do Way and he back. can be himself, yeah. right? Versus, you know, being at this, you know, specific, whether it be country or whatever. And right. you got that format you have to follow. Right. Yeah. So right. Your, your whole, I think the way the music industry has changed as well as with age, yeah, you decide like, all right, I want to get back to me. Like, I want to get back yeah. to what I like versus do what's fun. Right, yeah, right, exactly. right, right, right. Yeah. And that's what this whole deal has been about for us. Yeah. So, you know, the the changeover and and then playing with them is like a whole other element for yeah. us because, you know, we, we know him and we know how they play, but now it's like creating a show. Right. Like not just having you got a DJ and then you got a band and there's no correlation. Like this has become a production. Well, together us. here yeah right, yeah, right. Yeah. that's awesome so for the for the show coming up it's february 22nd yeah. yep. right. yep. yes i nailed it blind, blind tiger <laughs> it must be the highlight blind tiger tickets still on sale so all the vips all yeah sold i'm out, pretty right? sure they, they were gone quick yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i'm sure they're happy about that because i know no no this is like blind tiger i mean they don't really like push the vip sales. well I, that's yeah. the funniest so, thing is is yeah. i was like they play there yeah and you know so when we we were looking at trying to figure out okay what venue do we want to try to take this to and that was like that was kind of the good ground for us or whatever but i asked even asked him i was like do they even sell the <laughs> right, right. is this le- like is this for real like is this something going now <laughs> he's like yeah no they didn't <laughs> yeah. but uh yeah i guess they don't push it all the time but it apparently was a smart move on on their part because they people jumped all yeah. over it we had people texting us Oh yeah, I posted it in. I was gonna like, say because the post is still getting oh, get yeah. every like five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like two weeks ago. Yeah, <laughs> our, uh, just checking in. So yeah, yeah. yeah. This is ongoing. Joke. Joke. We keep doing. Yeah, yeah. keep posting something. Yeah. And they <laughs> keeps. Yes. Yeah. 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 They keep on Somebody's getting. cussing us out. They got tagged. No, I know. That's what I said. So tired. Well, it was funny because both these guys were like. Oh, nobody's gonna get mad at him for for tagging. Well, people. yeah. See, he doesn't he doesn't have to promote every weekend like we right, do. So like, right. you know, like he oh, can literally yeah. blow them up, and they can't say nothing yeah. to him. Yeah, yeah, he'd get by with it because he don't do it anymore. So. <laughs> no, right, right. Like, I'm tired of seeing this guy's crap. <laughs> <laughs> every day with this post. Yeah. And, I mean, that's that's a DJ life. It's a music life too. I mean, you got to promote yourself. You got to let people come out. You know, I actually took a step back. I was doing uh, Boiler Room slash McGee Street. Those guys will be here in a little bit uh, to talk about Bodega. 
Daniel nice. and Todd. And uh, yeah, I just got kind of burned out on it because kind of the same thing. Like as much as I love the music, I yeah. don't like a lot of the new stuff. No. Yeah. And if I yeah. DJ, I want to play stuff that I'm passionate about that I love. Like I, I DJed a uh, Christmas party for See? a bunch of nurses, and literally they were like. We want 90s and 2000 hip hop. No, I, like, I got you. I got you. Oh, <laughs> if, you can't, yeah. if you can't drop fucking no DB or Wu Tang right. in it, then it ain't a fun show. No, it's like, right. Like you gotta find. Like for me, that was the biggest. Like I've had this discussion several times. Like I didn't lose a passion for music. Right. I lost the passion for the every week yeah. consistency of like, okay. I got to go do this. Yeah. It's all the things that surrounds it. It's it's not the music yeah. itself. You yeah. love being there with the music, but the repetition of, of what comes along being in those atmospheres. Right. Is, yeah. is, is it becomes when it becomes like, on you and your and your mind. When yeah. it becomes that job feel, then it's like, all right, yeah, I got to do something different. Like, yeah, I already got a job. Yeah, yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't want this to turn to that. Right. So, I, I honestly, though, pulling myself out of it was probably the best thing because now my outlook on the way I even approach music production with him. Yeah. For example, because I'm so green at it yeah. where he's, he's not, Yeah. but my ear for it, I, I bring a different element to it. We, we sure. got the yin and the yang. Yeah. yeah. Well, Very well, well, I think you guys have always collaborated well, because, yeah. especially going back to the Inferno days. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, it's a, it's a good, like, just like with me and you, like it's, it's beyond respect. It's more like a, um, we, we feed off each other, it, right, 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 right. We, yeah, we, just, we don't argue over who's jumping on and jumping. Yeah, in. yeah. yeah it's never like, like my name on top, your name on never, top. It's never, never. Been like no, that. You no. guys if anything, we're like that. pushing the other one. Like, you, you <laughs> mean, you no, we're gonna put your name. Yeah. 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 You'll never hear him like he's his biggest critic. Right. right. He'll never speak good about anything he does. Yeah. And, and then I'm like, yeah, like that is like this new track. Yeah. I'm banging it in the gym every day. All right. All and I'm right. like, yo, like that is freaking fire. But he's like, he, well, I mean, I think most, I think most creative people are like, are like yeah, that. You know yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're never going to think their stuff is great. Right. Yeah. Unless you know you're Kanye. I mean? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, all right. Can't mess with that guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everything he does is perfect. Yeah. That's what's fun. You know, all, all the things that, that, that we've been doing in our band and whatever over the years. And, you know, I can collaborate on, on different ideas mm -hmm. from a different perspective and, 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 you can get collectively ideas like what's working good on your promotion side. What what are you using over here? What kind of studio stuff are you doing here? And what right. Not? So it's synergy. It's nice to it's yeah. nice to you know get fresh ideas from different perspectives. Just like you know being a venue owner or being in a cover band or being an original band or being right. a DJ or producer or whatever or whatnot. It's just nice to have conversations with people. Yeah. Right. Right. Just oh, yeah, just yeah. surrounding yeah. yourself and getting creative yeah. on a different level. Right. Like we never and before this had even talked about like getting into the production side as a as besides me and him like now we're talking like all right well we wade's gonna do some yeah some guitar stuff on some tracks and so we're we're gonna do some production stuff together outside of just doing oh, yeah. the weekend show thing you right know? so when you start to pull in that direction you're opening up a door to get creative and in any in other ways you know what i mean yeah. so it's been good i mean like we, we're more pumped sorry we're more <laughs> i think we're more pumped because we keep like we're talking about like, all right, well, wait, we need to get Wade in here and let him, you know, just bust off some stuff and let him hear a track and then put his spin on it. Yeah. Because it, it, those are the elements I feel like make good music when you right. got yeah. a bunch of people that are really just care about engaging and making a good product. Right. You know, you're what having I mean? fun. It's family, and you're just pumping out. Just and it's, it's about the hustle yeah. because, yeah. like, like if I if I didn't feel like I know the time that I'm going to give to this uh, this thing. Yeah. Like and I, I've got other priorities ahead of it at of course, home. Of course. But if I'm if I'm gonna give it my attention, I gotta feel like I'm getting it back from them and I don't even yeah. have to question it. Like they're like I'm like, I ain't doing enough. Like I gotta yeah. I gotta <laughs> give it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's been it's been great. Like, yeah. No lie. It's probably been the funnest month where we've literally we've got oh, to yeah. go. Well, I guess it's been a couple months, but yeah. <laughs> the last yeah. month we really kind of ramped things up. We right. dropped the the uh flyer and really put started like all right this is a thing yeah yeah um but well, you get a common goal going and it's, and it's just it's just fun to work on a, a certain event or, or a certain thing that you're doing like yeah. it, it's just fun to bring old friends back together just hanging out yeah exactly yeah like we're, it's we're just as much fun coming to eat, eat dinner with these guys as it yeah, is talking like, about talking, right. talking about music and all the yeah we, we honestly don't have any, like when we get together we we maybe the first thirty minutes of the whole deal where we kind of go over where we're at with things. Sure. And then the rest of the time it's like 
Beanie Weenies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, food king over here, bro. Yeah, have you seen my man? Hug. My man still hey. gets down like <laughs> <laughs> arigatos. Tell me, tell me you see his Snapchat. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. No, but Rick can make homemade beanie wings. Though. So this is the con- the conversation we had last week. He's over here making fillets and stuff. And uh-huh. Next week we're doing beanie weenies. I was like, but I swear to God, it's it's not like what you're thinking. These are bang. Well, first, off, first off, these are was, Rick's beanie weenies. I wasn't <laughs> even in the conversation. Uh-huh. I was out of the room. Morgan's in there talking about like. Oh no, you gotta try these. <laughs> and so Snow We've never heard him talk about it like this. Yeah. So I'm pretty excited yeah. about it. I was it. like, yeah. he's like, hold on, you got my attention. Got my attention. <laughs> yeah, do tell me more about these beating yeah. wings. Uh, yeah, we gotta say But it up. that's the, it's literally that's like it's funny stuff like it's that. It's just yeah. him cutting up and having a good time where like you can only side of like you have kids, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. you understand the dynamic of it, like it doesn't change you you think it, it's a, a small change, but it's not because you naturally start to when they become your priority, so your fr- like your friendships and stuff. Not that you lose them, but they are right. going to take a back seat to right. it. Right, right, right. It's just course. natural. Yeah. Well, I don't have to worry about that with you or with right. them because they come to my house and they hang out with my kid. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. they know, like, all right, well, he's not going to be able to really go anywhere. <laughs> right. He's got a kid. We got. Him. We just go to him. Let's go to his house. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it works out, man. I mean, it's been it's been good. Like I, it's pr- it's definitely been a a good time for me to. Not feel like getting back into it was the wrong thing, right? You know what I'm right. saying. And you're not you're not forced into or rushing into it. You're doing it because you want to do well, it. Well, we got mad support it. from family too. Yeah. Like, sh- like my wife especially. Like, cause oh, yeah, my, she go ahead. She takes on, like, you know, take. I, I've been out of it for so long, but yeah. she didn't hesitate when I was like, "All right, I want to do this." Like, she's been fully supportive That's of it awesome. because yeah. it is going to take like it takes up some time. Yeah planning and prep and right. just all the back end stuff you know she hasn't balked on it at all and it's like you know i would understand if she did because sure you know it's like hey uh, it's kind of asking a lot when you're playing it's not we're not just it's a there's a difference between uh working for a club and putting on a, a show right like fully putting a show on because that's yeah. what this is oh, we, yeah. we, nobody's helping us we're doing it yeah yeah so there's a lot you're doing all the aspects of it yeah. so you know, You're not showing up, playing music, and go. Yeah, and same for yeah. them. Like, <laughs> right. you know, like I mean, they're fully supportive, and you know, it works out. So, yeah. I, no, no doubt, I got to show respect to that. Because so, so about this, so how's the set going to work out? So I know it's is it you guys going back and forth, you guys together, and then brothers playing. Oh, yeah, like, so we talk a little bit about the show. We actually yeah. have an acoustic guy opening up that we haven't mentioned yet. Yeah, uh, Jay, Jay Alexander. Um, <clears throat> dude, look this kid. Hey, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just wait. I was around. like. What? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, look at this. We are on Facebook. So. He, he's, <laughs> hey, I mean, he's, he's super talented. Okay. Um, check him out on Instagram. Y'all go follow him on Instagram and Facebook. You know, the biggest, the, thing, Alexander. Alexander. Yeah. the okay. biggest thing we've all, all tried to do is, you know, push push people that aren't necessarily getting as, as much exposure as they deserve and sure. whatnot. Sure. And, um, you know, Jay, he does a couple of uh, things down in Winston and whatnot, and I got to see some of his videos and whatnot. You know, I'm all about reaching out to people yeah. and, and try to put them in, in, in different areas because I was so fortunate for people to do it for me. Right, sure. right, 100%. Sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, just putting somebody on that, that, you know, like for us it was like, we don't need. We didn't. We didn't have to have an opening act. We yeah. could have. We could have made the show work. We could have done some things. Right. But for us, it was like, all right. Well, and we didn't need anybody to really sell the show. Sure. More, more or less, because we were. We knew the work we were putting in. We we would get the job done. Mm-hmm. It was like, all right, let's get somebody that is hungry for music. And yeah. this kid is like. Yeah, his videos are real good. Y'all we did, I I didn't even have a, like Wade hit me up one night. We were going back and forth about. We're throwing a few ideas around about people. And uh, I even talked to you. You know, I was like, "Hey, because this guy knows everybody." And I was like, "Hey, you bartend you? long enough, this shit happens." Yeah, oh, yeah. I was like, hey, yeah. I was like who, "Who would you? You know, who would you? Uh, you know, who's new and hungry? You know, right. whatever." Well, this kid just fell right into, and he yeah. and he fits exactly. Like we couldn't really find ask for a better guy that could fit into the process of molding into the show versus. Okay. Not being like we got this rock guy over here, and then you, you know he's gonna fall right into what we're doing. Nice. So. And I always, yeah. I always forget, like you know, like you mentioned like Blind Tiger. You know, Blind Tiger's been around for what 30, 30 years. Yeah, yeah. Something like yeah that. When I used to be over on yeah. Walker Street. And, and you talk, you talk to these people that have never played there. So for people that have never done it, they're like, oh yeah, I really want to play that stage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't think of it being that way. But, but he was super excited when I messaged him asking him to do it, and uh, nah. that, that that's that's what it was all about. You know, somebody that wants to do it, somebody wants to not, somebody yeah. wants to be heard and whatever, whatnot. Yeah. And, and just to get a different different tone like yeah you yeah. know between the three of us 
there's not many people that we haven't played or seen played with or seen as far as in the music industry sure. so this kid we you know he's, he's fresh for us like oh, it's, yeah. it's a different yeah. it's a sign of something new for us like and uh, I keep calling him a kid. I shouldn't be calling him a kid. He's a grown He's, a grown he's, he's no 40 no years, years Rick old. Rick calls no, everybody shit. a kid. But, <laughs> hey, he's younger than me, so I feel like that's, that's where I'm at. Yeah. And, uh, but, yeah, I mean, I think it's – But, yeah, we're, we're going to let him start the show out. I think he's going to do, like, 30 and 45 minutes, okay. and then we'll take a quick break in there. And um, we're going to go on right after right after him, and I think we're going to do a 90-minute set. And uh, for a lot of the people – you know, we're going to play what we usually play okay. and, you know, a couple of originals and whatever or whatnot. But we're also going to throw in some stuff that me and Bobby used to do back oh seven, seven years ago that we haven't we haven't played in, in I've forever. I've been begging wow. and begging and begging. I'm like, yeah. how many times am I? Like, hey, yeah, they, <laughs> yeah, they, they, they do some really dope, like – about like a, it's like a fifteen minute. It's like a straight. fifteen minute, like you know, old school like rap songs. Okay. And, and, and okay. Cold forty five stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. I mean, you you talking to, like, you really hit home with a lot of the people my our age, right? On right. that kind of stuff. So, yeah, so at this per, at this particular show, it's relevant for us to do it, but we it's not something that we keep on our list sure. anymore. But sure, because <clears throat> our focus on um, coming up is um you know primarily we've been mostly a cover band and, and, sure. and all about partying and getting people out and drinking and, and creating a, uh, the fun show. a, a, a <laughs> scene. Uh, it's like, you know, people associate our shows with, you know, always going to be people that's going to be fun and, and mm -hmm. whatever or not. It's like people that have seen our shows a hundred times now, yeah. and, but, right. but they just, they've, we've built this relationship with people where they come to our shows and they make new friends. And then those friends just have, have, have groups and they, they, that's where they go. It's like almost being a local bar down the street, except, sure. except for your, you're the band instead of the bar and the, and, and it moves. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. but no, a lot of a lot of a lot of fans and, and friends. They've all made friends with each other. And we just got this nice tight knit group that comes out and, and supports. Well, they got like loyal fans. Yeah. Right? yeah. Like brothers, Pearl fan page created fans. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yes. they, they don't mess around. Like yeah. when we we did the give we just did that giveaway, right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, I t me we were joking about it, and I was like, Wade was like, Oh, I'm gonna tell you right now that. The first people that comment on this are going to be my fans. <laughs> like, no lie. Which that's that's what's fun for me because people people that didn't know about what we did previously and they, and they didn't know uh, Rick or, or Snow here. Um, it's going to be fun for them to to see where it came from in the beginning because you know if if it wasn't for doing that I would never met Bobby and we'd never right. been doing this in the right. first place. Uh, vice versa, yeah. like this this whole thing wouldn't be happening if all the everything didn't align right over the last ten years. Yeah. And really, oh yeah, yeah. Sure. I mean, I mean, that's the truth of it is, is like I started out in this industry with this guy and I was learning from him from the from the jump. And, uh, you know, they gave me my first shot because let me tell you, and, and I know like live music and, and, and any 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 musician or anything, it's it's breaking into that industry alone is tough. Yeah. And you got to make friends because you're not going to there's no way you do it without it. I agree. But yeah, yeah. I think Rick was one of the first people to, um, you know, throw me. He got me in touch with uh, Jason Goodman. And uh, when we started playing Buckets, oh, I'm all about I'm, yeah. I'm all about like, <coughs> like, I, yeah. because I got it from yeah. the guys like him and John Haskins and and you like I've always been like, yo, I'll, I'll, I'll throw the bone back. Exactly. I'm good. I'm I'm a pay it forward person. Yeah, so, same. Yeah. So like. But if you don't have that, getting just getting in, and I'm just speaking on DJ because that's all I know. But as a DJ, it's hard coming through here yeah. because especially during that time. Oh yeah, there you know you there was a good um, there was, yeah, there's, yeah, no doubt. I mean, it was a it's a tough industry to crack into mm -hmm. without having somebody that's like, hey, and I didn't, didn't even know him from yeah. anybody. We had a mutual friend, and uh, they were like, yeah, Yo, you need to hit him up because. <clears throat> He's vibes the same way you vibe, right? Yeah. So I hit him up like you know, I just messaged him on Facebook one day. I was like, Hey man, I know this sounds crazy. Sounds but... like a love story over here. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I was in his DMs. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I literally <laughs> he didn't have to he didn't have to tell me at all. It was like from the get. Like he right. was like I was like, Hey, we you know, this person told me, you know, they knew you and whatever and I was like, I'm I'm green. I haven't touched anything yeah. outside of that. Um I'd like to maybe get with you and see if I can kind of pick, you know, pick your brain mm. out the gate was cool about it. So nice. that was, I mean, you know, cause you've been there. I mean, you've been DJing y'all both been, I mean, you, how long you been in the 
He doesn't want to say. Years. I have. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I started I've off seen with the techniques. I've seen the techniques back in the day. Yeah, and, and, and the wall full of They're worth crazy. money now because yeah. they're yeah. antiques. Yeah. I know. I wish I still had them. But I had a baby, and that was, unfortunately, the only thing I actually had of value that I could sell. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. fuck, I guess I got to sell my yeah. turn yeah. I love you, daughter. I'm glad I did it. But yeah. I do miss some turn <laughs> So it's yeah, it's been cra a crazy run for yeah. sure. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna do um, our ninety minute show, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna we're gonna try to figure out how to uh, verse that in a, and collaborate a little bit on the on the beginning and the end. Um, yeah, and, we, and we I think everybody would love to see that some kind yeah, of collaboration yeah. between the three. Yeah, we're we're gonna we're, it's gonna we want it to go pretty flawless as far as the way it rolls in one from the other. We don't mm -hmm. want any dead air, any time sure. in between. So sure. um, the good thing about them is they're really diverse in how they play. So being him, I've been working production wise on the back end of like we did a promo Intros, a promo like intro that. for them. Okay. Um and we're about to start working on ours. Mm. So they're gonna once we get that done, he's like, Well, I can tie into it. I know I can do it. So yeah. they'll yeah. they'll roll it in and it'll it'll be as soon as they get me what they're what they're working on, they're gonna send it to me and then I'll I'll do my part as they did for me. So that's the whole working together kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. 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 But it, it should be a pretty seamless show. So I think they'll run from I guess Doors open at eight. I should probably throw that out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, doors open at eight. Get your tickets in advance because I don't. I, to be completely honest with you, I know we've they've sold a ton. Yeah. Um, and I, we can't guarantee anybody outside right. of, outside of that. Game. Right. And 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 so yeah. the doors open at eight. Jail probably going at. Uh, I'm gonna say nine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tickets are uh, seven in advance. Ten, ten at the ten, door. Ten at the door. Oh, can't be that. I'm so scatterbrained. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's not. It's, it's a relatively inexpensive yeah. show. For they can get them at uh, what blindtiger.com. Yeah. Com? Blindtiger. Com. The has them. The, the, the blind. Oh, oh yeah. The, 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 you gotta get that. Yeah. He, he said that because <laughs> white. I remember like, that. I had to change. That's it. right. Because I, I gave him. I gave him crap about it. I was like, I was like, change this. The blind. Got the flyer on that. Get it right. Nice. And of course, shout out to Blind Tiger to uh, Jordan and I and the rest of the gang. I've seen a bunch of shows there. It's a good right. spot, good venue. The, the sound is actually pretty damn. Oh, the good. light show! Yeah, Wait, right. if yeah. this if this light show is better be legit because Wade is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we need them. Uh, I'm, bring out, I'm gonna bring out a few more things than I usually do. Yeah, <laughs> we need the national light kind of show. We don't want the like average light show. <laughs> Brad, if yeah, you're Brad, listening. Brad, if you're listening. Uh, <laughs> We're all hands on deck. Yeah. yeah, you see people out there scalping tickets. You know you're doing a good job. Right. <laughs> so, that's what's up. so what's the? Uh, I know you got an announcement. Oh uh, yeah, make so the show. yeah. The, um, well, obviously, like with me and DJ, it's been like uh, you know we've done our solo thing for so long. Mm -hmm. But when we have collaborated in the past, we, you know, you know, we just did battle set together. Yeah. So this time around, I was like, I hit him up, and I'm like, look, dude, I have no. Yeah. And to, no drive to do this solo <laughs> again. Yeah. Yeah. So You're coming we. With me. Yeah. So so this has got to be a, a thing. Yeah. Like we got to lock this in. So with that, I was like, all right, we got to have a new name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. But let me tell you something. <laughs> that name didn't come easy, bro. <laughs> no. Rick was really. I was so off about stressed it. out about it. Like no lie. Like I'm. You know how I am. I'm like really yeah. meticulous. Yeah. And man, me and him were texting back and forth for day. I swear, I drove from. Winston to Wake Forest, just past Raleigh, which is like a two-hour drive, and I swear I said over three thousand words in my head trying to just piece things together because picking a name is you think like oh it's not that big of a deal, but no it is. It is. It's, it's, he it's already picked either. another name and we had to scratch right. it. He didn't. They have already his had t-shirts. Dude, t-shirts. <laughs> right. The logo done and everything. He said to him, "I said, man, I know some folks that's already got that one." And it was a. Man. I mean, I was bent over the line. <laughs> when I tell you, I, I like you thought I lost my puppy, bro. Oh, <laughs> my God. Wow. Uh, I was at the gym. I was like. The, the bad part, <laughs> out, the bad part is the way, the way Snow found out about the name and told him he couldn't use it. It was a T-shirt that freaking already. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm, 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 so uh, I'm a visual person. I'm a visual person. I'm like, I got to see this shit on some product. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to see it. And uh, but yeah, that, that went. We scrapped that real quick. <laughs> <laughs> it never, it never hit the social media. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. Okay. Um. So then we kind of rolled the names back and forth, back and forth. Well, I threw this out, and uh, he was like, yeah, that's cool. But I thought maybe he wasn't vibing off of it. So I was like, all right, scrap that. Like, I liked it, but yeah. we I, I told him from the get, I said, 
to crickets. If you're not feeling it, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what somebody's. Hey, no, I don't want to hurt his feelings. No, you, like no, you can see the three dots. <laughs> you know what it is? It's like, oh, that, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. Oh, that's I heart. like it, but that's bless yeah. your heart, version. I was like, yeah, yeah you yeah. ain't feeling it. It's all good. Singly, the other two are texting behind him. What? You see this trash? <laughs> I know he's a dad. Rick lost his money. I know he's How are we going to tell him we don't now. like it? How are we going to break it down? Yeah, I know he's a dad now, but we can't be Paw Patrol. You know what I'm <laughs> the White Claws. Yeah, the White Claws. <laughs> Yes, so uh, back to it, though. We, you know, I threw it at him, and I, I didn't think he was vibing it. So I was like, all right, well, we'll just – we spent another two days. And when I, that's what I'm telling you. He was like, bro, it'll come. Just you stressing way too hard <laughs> right. this deal. <laughs> And uh, so then I hit him back with it. I was like, hey, what did you think about that? He was like, no, that's, I love that. That's like perfect. I was like, yeah, meanwhile, he was, he'd been sitting on this forever. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so to, to reveal that, uh, me and him are kind of showing the love off, but it's, uh, love it. Yeah. Love it's, it. uh, we're, we're loud AF now. And you like can it. you can you can you know figure out what the AF is. I love that. Right. <laughs> ass parts. Uh, yeah. Ass parts. <laughs> ass parts. But that you know, so, on Tuesday nights. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so the big thing for me is like my my strong suits clearly are are you know like promotion and things like that. I've all that's been my go to for a long time. Where his is the music side. Right. 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 So uh, that's why it works so as, as a team for us. And so when we were like going over talking about the name we're like and me and him are we're very like we're, we just like to have comic relief we're, we don't take yeah. anything too damn serious and that's why the what they were joking about the getting together thing but it's literally a comedy show i swear if we filmed it we spend more yeah. time laughing than yeah. Than yeah but so he's like yeah he's like this is perfect we're both loud and and you know, he's like, this, it could usually be, what venues tell me anyway. Can you turn it down? Yeah. <laughs> you can go the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, don't tell me to turn it down. <laughs> Where was that? Up? Oh, got it. Yeah. It's my not sound, loud my enough. Sound, my sound guy just likes to shake his head. He's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, got it. So, yeah, we uh, obviously, uh, you know, we had the logo drawn up and whatnot, but it, and I'm, I'm pretty stoked about it. It really came out better than the one before. Yeah. Um, and it fits us. Like, no lie, we were just both like, oh, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is perfect. And we couldn't have really rolled anything out better. So, it uh, that's that's where we're going. Anything, he's still doing his thing solo, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, but when it comes to going forward, any, any, you know, with this, anything production we do together, that's that's kind of what we're wrong with. We're going to make some yeah. music. Yeah. yeah, we're going to make some music. Yeah. Um, so, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, we'll release some of that on, and we're going to get Wade involved with some of it. We, nice. we want this to be like, a completely different direction like production wise from what he's doing right. so we're, we're gonna have it'll be a whole different sound a whole different vibe yeah um but yeah so keep keep tuned in for that because we'll be dropping some of that soon at some point so so yeah. where, where can people find all y'all as far as social media like let the fans watching and uh, you know the fans are gonna be listening to this in about a week or two uh you know especially across the pond across the world like working across everybody the find pond, you on. Right. <laughs> so mine's uh mine's just facebook slash brothers pearl um and then instagram at brothers pearl simple enough you know yeah yeah mine is uh at the dj snow and that's pretty much everywhere the yeah. dj snow yeah, like yeah, the I, blind I had to do that yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, and, there was nothing else left there was that, apparently and, there's a few dj snows around here yeah. <laughs> there's only one in our hearts that's oh. right that's, yeah. Yeah. there's a real dj <laughs> I have the original trademark. Yeah, they, 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 no lie. I I'm working on my Ain't nobody shit, taking man. that from me. <laughs> like, like, I said, you got to get it the easiest ever because your real name is DJ. Yeah. And your last name is Snow. You, yeah. could, you have to pick shit. <laughs> That's, true. That's true. Like when he called him DJ a, a couple minutes ago, I was like, shit, that is his initial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was destined. Uh, my, that was funny. Uh, I think. Uh, my wife's uh, mom, she, uh, Wendy, she was like, yeah, he was he was just destined to be a DJ. You know I mean? <laughs> like he, he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Just a fat kid with a bunch of books of CDs back in the day. And yeah. I was like, I'm going to be a DJ. Yeah, man, I, had that, I had those books, too, and I loved them. Yeah. <laughs> I had, like, how many stolen out of my car from different people and stuff. <laughs> I mean, God, so as far as for uh, for this, we'll, we'll launch, the pages will be launching okay. later on today. Um, we've already got them up. We just got to transition some things. But uh, it, it'll be loud um, loud AF on uh, Instagram and Facebook. So Nobody else has that? No. Damn, Bro, awesome. what, that awesome. let no, me yeah, tell no. you something. No. When I, and you will never 
go the extent I went. I went <laughs> government site trade file government dot gov dot <laughs> Dude, no, <laughs> no BS. I filed the, the trademark on it because I'm like, nah, we ain't doing this again. Yeah, we ain't changing the name. This is it. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, it worked out good. Nice, so, nice. And then Rick's page, you didn't you didn't do your flip side. DJ well, that's what, yeah, so that's what we're transit. We're going to transition and pull, draw the pages. In okay. from, I'm literally, like, when I say, it's funny because me and Snow were talking about how we're going to do our uh, intro for this show. Right. And I said, we got to kill DJ, the flip side off. Like, it's, yeah. this is, we're, we're, we're taking it into something different. Sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not, and not to say, like, I got mad love for everybody who supported me along the way yeah, under, yeah, yeah. under that name and everything, mm -hmm. but directionally. Like for me, I feel like this is a whole different avenue. So sure. I'm, I want to, I don't want to go that direction anymore. I want to bring, I, I'm devoting my, all of my time into this. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's, that's what we're doing. So nice. yeah. yeah, right now, I mean, you can follow, follow me there, but sure. it, we're, we're transitioning everything to this. So it yeah, happens, man. I mean, shit, we started off as multi pops and I got tired of me and everybody else butchering the fucking name. So I was like, <laughs> zero no, dark no, nerdy. No, I, I swear we were talking about everything's like destined to be. Yeah. Because to me that, this name is dope. Oh, I love yeah, it. Yeah, like, like it. <laughs> even we were we were going through things. It's like you got to like we got to get like on some different levels because like <laughs> San Holo. Like who would have thought of that? <laughs> <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, or like yeah. I, my I keep going to this, but it's funny as shit because I was like, who the hell? Like what? How did you mustard relate yourself pimp. to mustard pimp? Yeah, <laughs> but if you saw his damn yeah. his logo is legit. Yeah, and I'm like, yo, I don't. I mean, talk about I that marketing. <laughs> like, my man yeah. either really, really likes mustard, and he be slapping some just with some mustard sandwiches or something <laughs> because something's gone down that I, I'm just missing. Yeah, yeah. but said, man, it is so marketable. Though. It is. I mean, you ain't gonna forget his name. Yeah, yeah. not not one yeah. of y'all will. Forget I'm, 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 it doesn't matter how stupid or dumb it right. sounds, it, it, as long as it's memorable. That's yeah. the marketing tool. And, and yeah. that was why this was perfect. Yeah. yeah. Like, he was like, everybody says, loud as yeah. 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 So, I love it. So, it's, it, yeah, it worked out. It's, it's true. Yeah. yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah. We are. My, I, we'll be, and that's the other thing about having kids. We'll be over there in months. Definitely. Loud. It's like, over there. <laughs> we'll, we'll be about, everybody's talking, and it's like, yeah. Y'all wake these kids up. Oh, no. Y'all go find out how loud it is. It's yeah. not going to get real loud yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, before we wrap it up, uh, we do a little th something called like solo dubs on the show where everybody, you know, you can give a shout out and something that you're looking forward to on 2020, like anything like that. So if you guys want to, you can start off right Yeah, I'll start. Around. So as far as what I'm looking forward to in 2020, uh, I'm going to pump, pump the brakes here with him because his new music, like the, you know, Nobody knows how long he's been producing music because mm -hmm. he's such a chill, laid back dude. But I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm like, he's probably like, stop, this motherfucker be pushing me all the time. I'm like, yo, he's starting the snow fan page. <laughs> oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yo, this is a revolution. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm pumped about his new music dropping. Like the first one, go for real, go hit up iTunes and, and catch his new one. Uh, and it's, it's uh, a try. I'll be on it. Yeah, I'll be, I'll on, be it. on it. Check it out. Okay. Um, Spotify. I mean, this is a banger. Bro. Yeah. Um, but he's got a couple rolling out after this that are insane. So now, I haven't I'm, heard it yet, but with a name like that, do you use a sample for yes. Kryptonite? Oh, oh it's I dirty. can't wait. It's I can't dirty. wait. And is it under like DJ Snow yeah, on yeah. iTunes? Actually, okay. uh, Spotify, uh, everything. It's on everything okay. now. So I'm, yeah, I'm super pumped about the production side of things where he's going as a solo artist on top of what we're doing. You know we're gonna we're gonna work production wise together. So that that'd be my uh, my twenty twenty look forward to. Yeah, there you go. There it is. Look at that dance. Oh, look at that smile. Look at that smile. Happy yeah. 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 as hell. Uh, as oh, far yeah. as as far as shout out, I'm gonna shout out my uh, my kids, man. I'm like no no bull, no BS. That's the best thing ever oh, yeah. in my life. Oh yeah. It literally. Yeah, beautiful family. And, and I mean my wife, everything like. No lie, like yeah. my kids. Oh, what's like, the name of her salon again? You can plug the salon. Oh yeah, sheer platinum. Sheer platinum. Yeah, and then you know, it's crazy because her and his, uh, well, might as well be a wife. Why? At this point, yeah. they're not. They're they're we're married. Uh, they're married. <laughs> um, he said. He said we uh, we put it. You know, we signed the house the other one. Yeah. Married. We're married. Yeah. 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 But so um, <laughs> you know, they've been really good friends as long as me and him have, mm -hmm. and. Uh, 
you know, Danielle does, she's like big time, like YouTube damn star. Yeah. Uh, uh, three more followers than all of us. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Three times. She, she shouts you out, you go hit the damn real deal bucket. We'll hook a podcast up. I know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But so she's in the makeup industry and Morgan's in the hair industry. Okay. They're, they're actually doing some collaboration on some stuff right now. Doing so. a giveaway. Or some yeah, yeah. Stuff. So, nice. So, um, yeah, it just works out. Everything aligns the way it's supposed to, and yeah. it's been it's been good on that end of it, but. Yeah, I'll sh- I'll just a shout out to them, man, because they they really have like both him and her. You now Wade's, you know, he's and he's got his girl, but he's the we we give him hell. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna try to let, let, this let me let me I'm gonna say it the right way. We give him hell because he's so chill, like he's yeah. so laid back. But then they all say, these they really have like oh, no. turn it off. Oh. <laughs> but all these uh you know he's he get they got the band groupies all up and he i'm like big shout out to you brother because we, <laughs> we we gotta stay on this train over here <laughs> nah um far stuff uh we're like i said earlier um we're, we're working on new original stuff that's our goal um 2020 so to maybe get an ep out sometime nice or something like that and work more on original and um far as being excited you know I, I haven't got to do any work with like stuff like snow on on, on his side of a uh, studio work and, yeah. and rick and whatnot so that'll be something new that I'm looking forward to and uh just working with these guys and, and figuring this whole thing out and try to bring some old school memories back and, and friends and whatnot um yeah. as far as shout outs go you know my brother he was uh landing there and he he was he's part of bucked up another reason we all know each other yeah he i mean no um, no lie that's that, that really like just sewing all that yeah, together yeah he, big uh, shout out to him he comes, oh, yeah. he comes out tomorrow on the shows you know he's got a, he's got another business called g-force motorsports i'm gonna go ahead and plug that for him yeah uh, he's really good at what he does and I, I get to help him on the weekends and just like he comes and helps me on the weekends but we both super excited about each other's you know projects that they do and, and mama maryland and we, we mama love, maryland. Yeah, we, yeah. My, we all love mama maryland yeah <laughs> you know, my, my mom she's she comes she comes and sells merch at the shows and she wouldn't really be anywhere that's awesome. but at, at music and whatever whatnot and love, love loves rick and uh and whatnot, but uh, and and, and this tight knit group of fans that, that follows us out every weekend, man. Shout out to all those guys, like wouldn't for them doing that, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't get to have fun at all, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. As far as me, um, I really am just excited about like the music. Uh, my girlfriend, she's starting her own state farm agency, maybe this year, maybe next year, whatever. Congrats, so, awesome, gonna be some effort put in behind that, and um, uh, yeah, aside from making the uh. The electronic music it will be mostly on spotify and itunes and that kind of thing but uh, i'm also making like hip-hop music and like hip-hop music it's like country infused hip-hop music okay so okay. uh i'll be selling a lot of those tracks on airbit.com okay. um coming forward but yeah no don't you better plug the uh you know, he's he's the jack of all trades ever. Yeah. so so like Real the estate. thing about it is is he's the silent one out of, out of us three, yeah we, but he's me, like, you talk he's, way too he's, much but he's, yeah, yeah. but he's also the guy that's like doing most of the flyers and all the cool stuff <laughs> you see online like that's that's him. I like, like to be the he's guy not, in the background yeah, he's, 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 he's not speaking but he's making yeah, yeah. all the cool shit you guys see. <laughs> yeah he I, is, I'm he much really to be in the background when he's not traveling all over the world yeah. man. I, I love seeing the pics flathers uh, texted me not too long ago i forgot what what vacation this was or what number it was yeah he was like what the fuck does he do for a living yeah <laughs> I was like, he's doing well for himself he's a certified <laughs> well, vacation like, he likes to travel <laughs> Uh, flipped a couple houses and uh, basically nice. bought a foreclosure and we pretty much almost paid it off and like it's done for like so now all I got to do is just basically get it back to up to par and mm-hmm. we paid our vehicles off and uh, Love it. so Love we it. have no debt yeah. so basically Make your money work for you yeah, yeah yeah so that's what I wanted I almost lost my house probably about I don't know seven eight years ago mm-hmm. and uh, ever since then I was like you know what I don't want no debt no more yeah. like, I mean ever since yeah. I, that happened to me I was like the bank was calling me like hey we're gonna foreclose on your home if you don't get this thing taken care of and so ever since then I was like no yeah. no more no more bills nothing yeah. you know so I don't like credit you, cards that's I awesome like bills I'd be like vacationing that. my ass off too if I wanted so that's, that that's what I work for that's yeah. good. And, I mean, everybody's got to enjoy themselves at the end of the day. You, know, you got to take a little bit of you time. I mean, life's crazy with kids, family, work, all that. You got to you got to go out and live life a little bit. So. Yeah, I mean, we don't have no vices either. We don't smoke, don't drink hardly any. You know what right. I mean? Like, so, I mean, our things we love to do is go out of town. You yeah. know, we don't do, when we're at home, her and I are both working basically two jobs right. all the time. Yeah. So, right. all we do is work when we're in town. We don't really hang out on the weekends at the bars sure. and stuff like that. So. Save a lot um, of money doing that. Yeah. And big shout out to y'all yeah, for having us on. Yeah, thank you. Oh, no problem. No problem. Thank you guys. And thank everybody watching right now and listening. Uh, always big shout out to our fans. I mean, this is a oh, baby project. Oh, so, <laughs> to plug, I, I don't know how you guys want to do it, but sure. we 
had talked to you, uh, you know, we'll give, I guess, what, like two pair of tickets, like four tickets away to the show or something? Yeah, no You guys set up the giveaway and do it how you want to do it okay. on the page. Perfect. And then just get in contact with us and we'll have the, we'll, we'll get the email tickets over. Um, just yeah. whatever works you okay. know, for you guys. Sounds but, good. But yeah, we, we uh, any, anytime we do any of this collaboration with anybody, like we gave away uh, for the show, um, we try to, you know, we, yeah. More than Mary, more than Mary. Like Mary. Exactly. Especially people have been in it. As well. Yeah, fans <laughs> right. like it, and you know, Sunday nights I host trivia up at Speakeasy, so we I can maybe yeah, you can do it that way. We'll do whatever. So it's we, we'll let you handle. It. You I'll just let us know. And we'll uh, send me yeah. your nudes. That's been going <laughs> <laughs> You've been doing the just trivia kidding, thing forever kidding. now. Yeah, I've been doing it for about a year now. I like it. You know, Sunday nights, seven thirty at Speakeasy Tavern. I just try to have some fun, not make anyone feel too you, dumb. You don't. You wouldn't do it. So, <laughs> no, yeah, there's nothing the worse than going to a trivia night and you got like four out of forty questions right. Like you start questions right. and you're not like, do I need to go back to elementary school? <laughs> like, I'm like, hey, you know, it, that's the thing. It's like, I'm like, all right, I feel like I'm pretty on the up and up. Like, you got to want to live with a humble shit. Right. Yeah, yeah. You're like, yes, it will. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Was I supposed to? Know that? Right. Yeah, I just try to have a good time. I keep it primarily pop culture based movies, a little bit of history in there, songs. So I always have like a music round and the songs like everybody really gets into. So. Shout out to Ian, but man, I went yeah. to Ian's like twice. And he's Ian. He tries to drill him, but bro, Ian is like <laughs> super educated. Oh yeah, like he is on the up and up about everything. Yeah, and he, I'm like, dude, ain't nobody. Who the hell knows this stuff? You <laughs> might reading like that. Yeah. I'm like, and he did it for what six years? He's just for a long time. Yeah, yeah. 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 Every time. Wednesday, big shout out to Ian. Yeah, he just had his his little little man. So he's <laughs> yeah, he's on the on the daddy thing. A lot of babies. A lot of babies this year. <laughs> last year. <laughs> I, I, I'll tell you. You I mean it's no Wade's on his way. Yeah. Oh, good. I play with Rick's kids. That's yeah. all I yeah. Shout out to B Man. Yeah. Hey, go. Big shout out to my sister too. Because people are like, You want any more kids? I'm like, no. Nah, I got a niece and nephew right here. So, <laughs> that's me. I got the back. nieces. He and got he got good. the he got one, but he got the perfect one. So yeah, like he's like, Yeah, she's great. yeah no. doing good at UNCW. She'll be here next week. That's a big shout out to my daughter. So uh make sure you check these guys out on their social media sites again. The show February twenty second. Doors open at eight. Yep. Tickets in advance seven. Yep. Your tickets at the door ten. Cool. If there's any left, so get your shit in advance. Uh, TheBlindTiger.com for tickets. As always, make sure you check out our website, PopCulturePodcast.com. I couldn't believe that show was available, so I took it. <laughs> <laughs> PopCulturePodcast.com for all your news and notes. Um, as oh always, big gosh. thank you <laughs> to. Uh, what? Look at that. Oh my! He died Lord. in a plane crash. Yeah, yeah. Holy! Kobe crap. Bryant. Yeah, Daniel just texted me that. Wow. Damn. Kobe Bryant. He died in a helicopter crash. Oh my goodness! Um, damn. Wow. I'm, well, uh, we didn't want to wrap it up. No, no. Anyway, sorry, right, 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 but uh, prayers going out to the, the, the you know Kobe Bryant's family and yeah, all that. No, this no. will probably air in about a couple of weeks afterwards. But geez, we literally just got that news just now. So that is that is crazy. Sad. But. uh you know, goes to show you hug. You know, hug everybody close to you. You, you know, live every day like it's your last because you never know when it's your time. Yeah, so, I was into the whole friends and old yeah, exactly, right, right, no exactly. Doubt, right, no so, doubt. I mean, I try to you know tell my daughter every single day I love her. You know, I know she's out at school, but you know, friends, family, all that. So, it just makes you think. Uh, you know, definitely. Uh, you never know, bro. Hug That's your sure. hug your loved ones a little bit tighter. But uh, you know, again, check us out popculturepodcast.com. Uh, subscribe, follow on all our social media networks. Uh, Zero Dark Nerdy, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later. Go. Yeah! Victory! And anger management? Fuck anger management.